despite mm-hmm. you know the last season or how it ended not really hitting for a lot of fans but uh you know it 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 was still uh good enough and it had a very lasting impression and impact on the world so yes once the damage is done it's done that was your top 10 guys now this next segment um it's a doozy i will i will say because we have some Dragon Ball Daima news. <laughs> so, at the time that we're recording this, Geekdom had just finished a live stream. So, as always, plugging Geekdom 101. If you're not already subscribed to him on YouTube, definitely do that. Um, I always say Are- this. Like, if you're subscribed to us, you're more than likely subscribed to him already. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, just to put it out there. I'm also a friend of the channel. Correct. Ge- For Geekdom, those that don't know. Yeah, Geekdom has been on the Full Power Podcast several times in the past. Um, And I was actually talking to him today. And, like, you know, I guess just to protect his intellectual property, I say that as a joke. <laughs> but um, he does say... And I quote, just please tell them to watch the trailer breakdown. So Geekdom mm-hmm. did a trailer breakdown of the latest official, probably the last Dragon Ball Daima trailer. And he did a whole breakdown video, was like 30 minutes long. I've watched it. I'm sure everybody's watched it. It was a very it's good like breakdown. You know, I mean, Geekdom does, does good, good content. You know, like he's been he's been doing YouTube for like 10 years about. Yeah. Um. So, so there's his there, there's his plugs to s- that guy. cite the source because a lot of the notes that uh, I'm I'm going to be um, referencing are from his stream that he went over. So, uh, buckle up, sit tight. Shit's about to get serious up in here. Okay, now first things first. I was buckling up, sorry. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm going to go, I'm, I should I should also mention this. Um, I'm going to go in order from all the things that he talked about. So it's going to sound like we're going, we're bouncing back and forth um, between like certain points of, you know, what could happen with this show. Mm-hmm. But I want to emphasize, dude, I am more excited for this show the more we talk about it. I'm not gonna lie, and I know you're somewhat not to put you out there, but I know you're 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 not like as versed in the Dragon Ball world like right. like we all are. I've seen. To be fair, I have seen it all. Yeah, you know, no, no, yeah, yeah, like yeah, like yeah. However, like, I, I do not consume it all all the time. Yeah, like yeah, I yeah. haven't I haven't seen superhero, so it's a good movie. I yeah, would, that's what yeah. I would be willing to watch it with you. I, I mean, it's like I said, it's not a bad movie. It's not, you know, it's not the greatest. It's still yeah. a lot. It's it's fun. I should say that. It's a fun film. I think that's what Dragon Ball needs to be at the end of the day. So I'm about say, say less. I'm about there we go. It. There we go. That's some, See, that's good. That's good energy. That is you. good. You know, because I don't be getting that with any of my brothers, it. unfortunately. Yeah, I try to bring that to the pod. <laughs> yeah. <Also fun. laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So first thing. That I want to mention here. Episodes 1 and 2. Um, are already in Crunchyroll. They've been over at Crunchyroll. At least since July. Since July. It is September now. Are we getting simulcast? We'll get to that. Okay, Sorry. We will get Keep to that. Ahead. But no but that's a good question. We'll get to that okay. So again guys. I'm going over this from. I was taking notes all throughout the stream. Okay, so I'm going in order from the things that was said. Okay, second thing here characters from Daima should reappear later on in Super when it returns. Really? So, this is an interesting point because when he said this, I immediately started fucking thinking. Yeah. Right? Like, fucking, who's going to show up? And I'm and I'm wondering now. This is a theory that I came up with. It's probably going to be way off, but I'm wondering if this will connect with what Freeze has been up to. Because I don't I, I don't know if you're aware, but for those that may not know, if you haven't read the fucking manga, Frieza literally 
was he removed himself essentially from the from the show for a time. And okay. then he and then he reemerged and he showed off a new transformation mm -hmm. Black Frieza. Yes. Okay. Now he mentioned that he went off and like went into some pocket dimension that had similar traits to a hyperbolic time chamber. And that is how he was able to train and unlock this new form. Now, my theory, or my, I guess a question theory, whatever, mm. is that should some of these characters reappear, are they going to have any sort of involvement with having a part in allowing him access to have that training? Interesting. Yeah. Almost like, almost like a Beerus Weiss specifically for Frieza, where Beerus Weiss kind of gave them, or I guess Weiss specifically helped train Goku Fujita. Well, yeah, 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 they, yeah, yeah, okay. I see what you're trying to say. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, some, that's another way to look at it. New uh, omnipotent, because if, if it's a pocket dimension, yeah, that's some pretty strong fucking power you got going on there. So mm -hmm. for, for Frieza to find an ally that's willing to help him with that is... uh insane yeah because so. like because 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 like we don't know exactly where frieza went it was very right. vague now imagine if they tie that and it had to actually do with the demon realm because that's where daima is essentially taking place in right okay so i'll also preface this because i don't think if i didn't before i'm going to do it right now a lot of the things that geekdom went over were things that were either told to him or some things were him speculating as well along with us okay so again take everything very loosely and as i say this the english dub will release sooner there's a high chance of it releasing really? a lot sooner and so this ties into what you had asked me before is going to yeah. be simulcast i'm praying that it is because why not you know i would love control to, has it yeah bro right like like everyone's already assuming, myself included, that best case scenario, it airs in Japan. Crunchyroll gets it like two hours after with the subs, so that way we can watch it Friday morning into afternoon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think it would be at this point in time with how big Dragon Ball is, it would be insane not to simulcast it. That's what I'm saying. Especially when it's like Toriyama's last thing. That's what I'm saying. That's I got a Sandland to have this be the last thing Toriyama touched for Dragon Ball and not have it be simulcast across the entire world at the same time. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, like this is this is literally like there's at this point is Dragon Ball. Despite and rest is, rest in peace to Toriyama san, Mr. Toriyama changed all our lives. Mm -hmm. Even with him not being here, it's fucking Dragon Ball. There is no excuse why they cannot coordinate and do this simulcast, simul right. dub, like, and not to have it separated. Because I've seen shows, like I mentioned this in the last episode, um, on uh, Full Power, where Tower of God season one came out. They had a simul dub, but it was delayed, meaning that the 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 sub episodes were like two or three ahead and then they would release like episode one and then episode two with the English cast. Yeah. So it was like behind, but it was still kind of like, you know, coming out as the show was still airing. Right. But anyways, moving on back to Daima, right? So Stephanie Nadolny, the voice of Kid Goku was spotted at Crunchyroll. Interesting. So Geekdom confirms that she had a multi-hour long session. Take that for what you will. But if you ask me, I'm going to read between the fucking lines. She's back, guys. Our girl is back. Incredible. Kid Goku is being reprised by the original. Voice act. Voice when's actress. the last time she's when's the last time she's done lines? Ooh, do we know? Dude, I don't even know. Is, does she do lines for any of the games? Oh, well, I think when it comes to video games, probably. I'd imagine well, so. I think 
think sometimes they get somebody that sounds just close enough. Yeah. To the so, in, yeah, in most cases, for I sure. I feel like Geekta probably would have made a big, bigger deal about it if this was like the first time she came back. So, just so, uh, just asking. So here's okay. So good question. Because I'll add to that, and I'll get and and so he also in his stream he mentions that he's going to introduce a new show to his channel, where on Sundays he's going to review Daima as it's coming out, uh, uh. but he's not going to be alone. She confirmed for him that she, if she's allowed to, she will review the episodes with him. Wow! Now, holy shit! I don't know about <laughs> you, Joey. <laughs> But if I'm somebody that is a very critically acclaimed actress in the in the space of voice acting, she has a great career, she's fucking Goku, and she tells him that, if I get the... Bro, come on. She's coming back. There's no way. Has to. <clears throat> Has to, right? Anyways, moving along. <clears throat> so we have a new set of Dragon Balls. For Daima. Okay, because in a different different dimension, different world. So realm. for those that don't know, um, over time, Dragon Ball, we've seen a lot of different variations and versions. Obviously, like the, the ones from Earth, the ones from Namek, the Black Star Dragon Balls in GT, even the Super Dragon Balls from Dragon Ball Super. But in the manga, um, there's actually, it was actually um, confirmed that there are several different sets of Dragon Balls that exist. And sometimes they all don't have to have seven. Really? Yes. In one of the on, recent on Earth or just in general? Well, no, 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 no. Like, so like Earth will have seven. Like, like Earth's Dragon okay, Balls yeah. are seven. That's that's okay. gonna stay the same. But like, say you go to another planet, if they have Dragon Balls, sometimes they don't have to be seven. Interesting. So in the in the case of the most recent arc that took place in the manga, it was a, a set of two. Oh. Yeah. So we don't know how many. We don't know what we don't know the count, but what we do know from what again Geekdom was told, as a reminder, is that they are sized between Earth and Namekians. So if size matters, pause. Um, I guess uh there you have it, right? So I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to go through these a little bit faster because it's a lot. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So there is a character in Daima who is a Namekian that may be working with the demons. All right. There's a, a supposed group um by the name of uh to, to, uh, ta, Tamagami. And these were these are characters that were shown in the trailer. They were kind of silhouetted. They looked like they were mechanical, and they looked like they had these orbs. That's we are believing those are the Dragon Balls. Interesting. Yeah. Um, Creatures powered by the Dragon Balls is pretty funny. Yes, nuts. and that's the or thing. Dragon Ball Guardians. Yeah. Yeah, and, and man, do you have my script? Do you have, do you have my uh, notes? <laughs> like <no. laughs> right? Yeah, I, I I wrote right here. Maybe considered the Guardians of the Dragon Balls. Yeah. Another note, uh, Dende is kidnapped by demons. So this is going to, I'm sure, add to the premise, the plot going forward mm -hmm. throughout this. Um, he also mentions there's an older Namekian character by the name of Beba. Not sure what exactly um, they're going to be doing or what their involvement is or how serious their involvement is. Now, here's an interesting bit. So the curse that is placed upon the characters that's making them all kids apparently has the power to break fusions. Huh. Now, I say this because I'm sure some of y'all that are watching paid attention to the trailer and noticed that Supreme Kai and Kabito Kai were separated because at this point in the story, because also I should note, that um, it is heavily believed. I'm pretty sure. I, I'm. I think I'm safe to say that it's for sure. This is what's happening. This is taking place right after the defeat of Majin Buu. Okay. So this is before Super. Wow. Yeah. So this is this is before that. It's actually the crazy part is Daima takes place before the Heyo Son Goku special and Battle of Gods movie. 
So this is like, okay, this is fresh after fucking Majin yeah, Buu, bro. So, so you were gonna say something? No, you're good. Okay. So, so like people that remember, um, in Dragon Ball Z, Kabito Kai was when Kabito and Supreme Kai they put the Pataras on, and they turned into Kabito Kai, and because they're gods, and they use Patara, they are permanently fused, according to the lore that was given to us. And now we have something brand new, a curse that is so strong, it is even powerful enough to split a god fusion. That's crazy. So moving along. Now, this is a speculation station. So this is someone, This is I, I noted this because Geekdom liked this idea, and this comes from a fan from the, in the chat. They had mentioned this, and they go on to say that... The reason why Gohan's not around is it because the curse may have affected him to bring about a demon beast form. Mm. Interesting. That would be very interesting. So take that for what you will, right? Now, this next piece, also um, something that I wrote down because I was just like, you know what? I feel like... (laughs) I, I, I feel like this could happen this would be like the chance for them to do this is this would be very dragon ball of them to do this but uh there's a chance that we will see super saiyan three versions of both goku and vegeta in their kid forms now as i say this emphasis on the vegeta part because if this is the first time we're seeing the vegeta officially transforming to super saiyan three that would mean that his first time doing it would be as a child and right. not as an adult form, which you can only find and see in the video games. Right. So my note... <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll do this. My note reads, they may hoe us on adult Vegeta Super Saiyan 3 since he may whip it out here as a, as a, as a kid. So, yeah. That's yeah. tough. Yeah. And also... Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, at least we're getting it once. Maybe. We'll see. (sighs) Yeah. Not the way we wanted. Yeah. Hey, but I mean, they may not be kids the whole time, right? So it could could lead to seeing adult Vegeta at the end, whipping it out. Now, again, I, you know, I, but, and here's, here is like, I guess the problem that this show is going to present. It's like, they're going to do all this cool shit to only have either all of their memories wiped and that's probably what's going to end up happening because then it yeah. would it would be too way too conflicting with what happens afterwards right like directly afterwards you know like yeah. if if Vegeta goes Super Saiyan 3 whether they wipe their memories of him ever doing it and everyone doing whatever that happened like during this like this anime but also consider that Vegeta may say something that will essentially, I will call it a plot lock. Um, so that he's like, yeah, this form is whatever. I'm not going to use this. Yeah. I, I think I can see that more so than anything yeah. else. Yeah. Wasn't the reason that he went blue was to be different than Gohan? Not Gohan, fucking Goku. I, I, I feel like I remember that because he wasn't able to achieve Super Saiyan God. So he went his own version. Nah, so basically what happened with that really quick was it that was actually a surprise. So Resurrection F when that movie yeah. dropped, everyone knew that Goku was going to go Super Saiyan Blue. They they debuted right. it as Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. Yeah. And everyone was expecting to see Goku going Super Saiyan Blue. Right. And this was again reminder right after Battle of Gods. So they went Battle of Gods Resurrection F. Goku literally got Super Saiyan God in that movie. Now he's new movie, he already got another form. Right. So everyone, Vegeta fans are like livid because we're just like, bro, how is he falling behind (laughs) still behind Goku? Surprise. He also went Super Saiyan Blue in that movie. And and then on top of that, it was uh, not just believed, but it was like basically confirmed that, well, in order to go blue, you have to first go God. 
So right. it's like, okay, so off screen, Vegeta went Super Saiyan God. We don't actually see him going God in anime until the Broly film. That's right. But in the manga, yeah. he went Super Saiyan God. Okay. In the manga. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. The, way, the way I remembered it was that he just kind of like willed himself to blue. Oh, but, yeah, nah, yeah. that's not how it went down. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's all good. So, all right, so here we go. So back to Daima. The first episode will start with a birthday party. I think that's something that I had mentioned in previous episodes. So, again, not something to really like, when you hear that, don't be like, oh, yeah, like, this is going to be whack. And no, the episode could start with a birthday party, but then it'll lead into other shit. So don't worry Kinda about like, it. Yeah, like the, the Battle of the Gods movie started with what? A picnic Bulma. or some shit, yeah, you know? They, they were at like a, a pool party. Yeah, like, dude, they, like <laughs> this is normal. Like, this happens in Dragon <laughs> yeah. Ball. Like, everyone should be yeah. expecting of this. Like, dude, the first episode of Dragon Ball Super, fucking Goku was on a farm. He was farming. Right. Yes. I don't want to hear it. It's fine. <laughs> I, I'm not worried about it, right? Uh, So let's see. Okay, so Daima will be the first time we will see a demonic Supreme Kai. Now we did learn some new things from this, um, and geek, you know, again, right? Um, they are born from a golden fruit from what's called a Shinji tree, or a Shinjin tree, excuse me. Shinjin tree, okay. And so, from the Shinjin tree, these fruits are, you know, produced, and these fruits end up becoming what we know as Supreme Kai's. Now, sometimes some of those fruits go bad and those end up becoming the the ma kaioshin which is the demonic supreme kai's so the the fruit is literally the devil devil person tree shinjin yeah yeah devil person tree there interesting yeah. yeah um and so i and then and then this is this is this is a tidbit that geekdom added this is a fun fact this whole concept the demonic Supreme Kai concept. This has literally been a Toriyama concept since 2012. And now they're doing it. That's crazy. Damn. Glad yeah. we're getting it. Yeah, finally, right? So moving right along. Um, this was this was something that was already revealed. There's three levels of the demon realm. So I add this because Geekdom then added to this that this could mean for different types of inhabitants and could also potentially leave room to have like stronger challengers for, for potential fights that we will of, of course see throughout the show. Um, I already mentioned that it's, uh, Stephanie Nadolny, uh, again, the original voice actor for kid Goku expressed her interest in reviewing Daima with geekdom on his channel. To me, that says she's doing it right. At least, like, you know, voicing Goku. Yeah. Um, Geekdom mentions that Glorio, one of the new characters, takes inspiration from Han Solo, which makes perfect sense. Um, and the other two characters would probably also take inspiration from other Star Wars characters because, again, for those that don't know, Toriyama loved Star Wars. He, does, he did. Um, production side of Daima is complete. So it's done. Wow. They are done producing it. However, voice work may still need to be done, which is fine. Yeah, that makes sense. They got a little bit of time. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So another another uh, food for thought. Supreme Kai is one of the only beings that has access to the demon realm. He mentioned this to then, I guess, go on to remind people that Goku, yes, he did it as well once, but it was filler, so it doesn't count. Um. And naturally so. Why would it count? And now, now here's where things start to get a little bit more interesting. So there's a character that very that very much resembles Dr. Miu. Now, if you don't know who Dr. Miu is, Dr. Miu is the doctor from Dragon Ball GT. Yes. Yeah. He was uh I guess you would consider an important character for that show. And the reason why we're bringing it up now is because if it actually is him, it is then believed, speculation, right, predictions, that this could mean that Daima will, <laughs> I'm not going to call it GT2, 
<laughs> but what I am going to say is that this is Toriyama's version of what his GT could have been. And he is taking some of the good concepts and rewriting them to form his vision. So that means we could see Baby written into Daima, bro. That is fucking insane to me. Now, I'll just say this. Now, this is something I didn't have to write down because how could I, how could I forget this, right? If we're talking Dr. Miu, if we're talking kids, if we're talking an adventure, we're talking new types of characters, new sets of Dragon Balls, I mean, how can we not entertain the possibility of a Toriyama written Super Saiyajin 4 <laughs> has to happen. It's got to happen. You think they'll get their tails back at some point during this? Good question. Because would, would, would that be the only... Did they get their tails back in order to go Super Saiyan four, Super Saiyan four in GT? Yes, yes. So then that was a requirement it, back in the day, it, right? So they'd have to get their tails back at some point. So if the magic has the ability to split a god's fusion, I would imagine it, and it, it can turn them into kids, right? Who say doesn't have the power to get their their tails back? Yeah, and so. that's that that's that's a great point because like who knows what this t this curse really entails because right. it, it it might it, it shouldn't be all that bad when you take into consideration the the trailer already showed Goku going Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 2. Right. So it's like he still has access that's to it. what he's a, a, able to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, because it's Toriyama's version, I don't think that he's going to put too many restrictions on things. You know, like, he has been writing in a way where it's very, like, open and accepting of, like, things that have not happened yet in this story. I mean, Dragon Ball has evolved to be so grandiose that it's just, like, it's kind of hard to avoid certain things like this. Right. So, yeah. like, if they get the tails or not, I don't think would make a difference if they do go Super Saiyan 4. Um, it would be a nice touch because I, I, I do agree that it should be a part of that transformation, but let's not forget this is Toriyama's version. So that means right. the rules that we think we know can always be altered. Yeah. Always. I mean, it's, it's, saying is still saying at the end of the day, right? Exactly. Regardless of so, yeah, like imagine. So here's my thing. I want you guys to start thinking outside the box here. Just because we don't see them with the tails doesn't necessarily rule out a Super Saiyan 4. It also doesn't mean they won't have the tails. We, we've seen some shit, right? Joey my, said my, it. My, my, uh, Joey said my it. mind immediately goes to Spider-Man No Way Home where they edited out the other two Peters in, <laughs> in, the t in the trailer, right? And you're just like, well, why the fuck is Peter fighting? All these? Who's to say they don't have the tails already? And we just don't see them. Uh, right? could, that's another, uh, yeah, that's another way to look at it. That's definitely another way yeah, to look at it. Some tells me they didn't do that, but, but, you never know. The other thing is, what if they're, they're, they're literally they're trying to dig deep and they're tapping because again, guys, this is before God Key was even introduced, so all they have is what's inside. Imagine this 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 new form is so strong that. They they actually go Super Saiyan four and their tails come out. I think that'd be that would be way cooler, way more hype than if they were like, oh yeah, magic brought your tail back. And no, he just like gets so mad something Thank happens. You. See, this is why this is this is good to have you on because even though you're not like <laughs> fully here. engulfed, now you're about to now you're get you're it. with the shits. I, I've been I've been in it. Yeah. In the reactions, I know. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Listen, if you if hey if if the schedules align, if you're trying to be on the reactions, bro, yeah, I'll fuck you. you. Yeah, absolutely. You are more than welcome to come over. I'll, let me binge GT real fast. Nah, in the next fuck month. that. No, 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 no. You don't need to do all that shit. You don't need to do all that shit. All right.
So let's keep let's let's have some more fun with this. So um a few more things. The one thing that I will say that was um well yeah, this is all speculation. So let me just go into it real quick. Fusion? Could we see a kid Vegito? That would be adorable. <laughs> one. <laughs> Very cute. Um probably. I don't see why not, right? Now could Who's we say also- Toriyama didn't go just all out? That, hey, yeah, right? 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 It's you know a great mean? adventure, bro. Like, who but cares? There's a chance that he knew that this was going to be it, right? Yeah, there's a chance that he was like, I need to make this the best thing for the fans, for myself, that it could possibly be. So who say, who say we don't get it, right? Right, right. We, we got it in uh, Broly, Super Broly. We got Gogeta. Right? Gogeta, yeah. Yeah. That was, was like dance. highlight of the fucking movie. That shit was crazy, Yo, doing all that, that prismatic son. orb shit that he was doing. Um, so to see anything else would, why not? Right? Uh, yeah, that would be that would be interesting. I don't know if they would do it, but just to think about it is actually really exciting because I'm thinking like, oh man, they they can make so much merchandise off this. Like, imagine the Easy. toys, the games, yeah. Kid Vegito, Kid Vegito, Super Saiyan three. Oh God! All right. Anyways. Another bit of speculation station. So imagine if the events from Daima could result in why Beerus wakes up in the first place. Interesting. To set up Battle of Gods later yeah. on. It's actually kind of crazy. Now, this last what if that we have here is kind of crazy. Now, this is something that I'm not going to lie. Whoever thought of this, or no, this was Geekdom. It wasn't someone from his chat. But he he was like he was on it, right? He literally goes, "What if previous gods of destruction are in the demon realm? Holy shit! To be later brought back in future storylines. Wow. I will add. They have yet to do anything with the known universes that do not exist anymore. Right." We don't have no inclination what that could have meant, what that could have meant for any of the inhabitants, what it could have meant for any of the gods that were uh, tied to those universes. Right. Imagine if, for whatever reason, they just get like, kind of like dejected into the demon realm, or you know, they what, however way they want to write it. I feel like that'd be a really interesting thing to do. Yeah, I like that because it makes it it kind of is more of like uh literally going to hell, right? Like they they get killed, go to hell. So then once everything from super happens, maybe all that stuff goes to the demon realm as well. And so that w- that would be interesting if they somehow wake up the other gods of destruction or find them, stumble upon them in the demon realm, and that's what awakes Beerus. That we would be that, that 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 would that would be interesting. I should also preface that. The demon realm is separate from hell. Hell is completely oh, yeah. separate from Sorry. the demon realm. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. You didn't know. It's, <laughs> you do now. But I just, should, just yeah. to make the point. For those I, won't, that, I won't make it again. I'm sorry. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> um, also, we're basically about done here with these notes that uh, not all demons in the demon realm are evil slash bad. That is another point that uh, Geekdom okay. made. So, you know... um. Uh, uh, he he also like mentioned how like a lot of religions like obviously you know depict demon realms and you know like hell and all that to like have like you know just evil and bad people but right. Toriyama likes to you know throw some lightheartedness and to kind of like go against certain certain grains which I actually enjoy yes. because it gives like a the different perspective of like you know it's like just because it's it comes off a certain way doesn't mean that everything around it has to encapsulate into it as well too um so yeah and then the last thing that i will this is more of a plug than anything else just a, as a courtesy but um he mentioned geekdom that he is going to be releasing a demon realm omnibus video dropping on his channel on saturday wow so if you're whenever you're watching this by the time this is out the, the video is already there so once you're done hearing this, watching this, go check out that video if you want to learn way more about the demon realm. Um, and that's it. That is all the notes that I took 
on this stream. Very insightful, very informative stream. Thank you, Geekdom. Geekdom, thank you again. Don't forget to watch his stuff, subscribe, and to check out his breakdown. Like he had mentioned, that I, you know, he wants people to really see that breakdown because yes. you know it's a good breakdown. Um, and uh, yeah, so like I guess really quick before we like completely wrap this up, Joey, like. What are your feelings on Daima? Like, are you more excited about it than you were before? Or, like, how are you feeling? And be completely honest. Yeah. Um, I love Dragon Ball. You know, Dragon Ball's always just been... It, it's kind of... I feel like a lot of people our age, it's kind of like their introduction to to the anime realm. Um, just because Dragon Ball's, like, always been in my life. It's kind of what it feels like, right? That's facts. So now that we're, like... uh a third of the way through life, I guess, to still be <laughs> going through <laughs> and having a new Dragon Ball story from Akira, um, from Toriyama. The the last part that he was telling, it feels very special. That's and facts, yeah. I think that regardless of if you are a Dragon Ball fan, if you're an anime fan, that this is something that, you, that is going to be special, that it's going to be monumentous when it drops. Um, and so I, for one, am fucking stoked <laughs> i am so excited for this to come out uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be great um i i have no doubt about that and it's gonna be just overall a good time to, mm, to get yes the there it world. is hit the nail on the uh, head that's that's like i said earlier having fun i think what do you think about og dragon ball it was yes it was about hunting the dragon balls but really it was about goku just wanting to fight and have fun and eat like that, you know, and when when you boil it down, that's all we want to do too, minus the fighting. Um, and I, it feels like he may be getting back to the roots of that, where it's just like a fun adventure that Kid Goku and King Vegeta are going to go on. And you know, that's really all I want. That's that's what we want is just to have a fun story. So I am excited. Let's get Very it. Excited. That's a great answer. Great answer. Now. I'll throw my two cents in there. I will say, guys, that as someone that I grew up, obviously, more with Dragon Ball Z, a lot of us have. Um, not to say that I have not seen Dragon Ball, because, of course, you already know the tsunami blocks Dragon Ball, yeah. then it was Dragon Ball Z, right? So there was episodes I would randomly see of Dragon Ball, but like I, to this day, have never finished it from start to finish. Really? I am openly admitted to that like yeah. that's no secret right it's definitely a different show oh so that's but it's yeah. so good and it's, it's fun. so fun yes. and it's so funny and i love it and i started um a few years ago i've been like falling in and out because life right we're adults now it's harder to do things what what hooked me not sorry to take away from no, you but good. the the fight that krillin had i don't even remember what the the enemy's name was but the enemy the 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 dude in the tournament stunk so bad oh my god he shit himself he like he's farting yeah. and shit yes <laughs> and, but then krillin is able to beat him because goku's like krillin what like why are you losing you don't have a nose and he's just like oh yeah i forgot <laughs> <It's> just like, <laughs> and so he wins the fight and i'm like this is this is why i love this series yeah yeah and that's and that is like why i find so much enjoyment in the even in the original dragon ball despite how crazy and vast the rest of the universe with z and super like has turned the sh like the series into and so with all this excitement around daima i'm not just reinvigorated and like like it's like almost when you're like falling in love with something again like i right. am finding those feelings again for this franchise and daima is doing that for me. And this is a show that originally I was just like, okay, like I'm hype. We're getting new Dragon Ball. Yeah. It's not what we wanted, but it's it's something. And I will take that over nothing. Especially if Toriyama's involved, especially if the animation looks fucking fire, and especially if this could potentially lean into a lot of things that we're not expecting. And right. it ends up being like a a crazy fire, great show, yeah. enjoyable for everybody to watch, and which I think it will be. I do too, and yeah. I do too. So shit, I'm a, I'm I'm gonna definitely need you to come over now because like yeah, you're gonna need I'm, to be in these reactions. Cause let me tell you yeah. something right now, <laughs> my brother, he is not excited in the slightest. Like he like the 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 energy that I have right now is that I am I am 
I am, huh, I'm getting flashbacks. <laughs> like, I'm thinking back to how it ba- was back in the day when new Super episodes was coming out. And yeah, that too. shit was prioritized. Okay? Like, no matter where I was, whether I was with family, friends, another country, another state, literally, I'm not bullshitting. The videos are still here and they're still there. I was reacting every week. And it was such a good time. Yeah. So I could tell you this. is I mean, I, if I haven't said this already, I'm saying it now. I could tell you guys whether Brother Ooch, as you know, the lethal one, whether he joins these reactions or not, I will at least have my lovely, beautiful fiance to join me in this adventure. And I am so happy about that. I don't think she realizes how important and how much this means to me. Mm -hmm. And if Joey, if you somehow figure out how to join in on this, I'm there. I, I I might I might I might lose it emotionally. I might I might be like, this is <laughs> this is so good, right? So I'm not gonna we'll get ahead of myself. Together. Don't worry. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so but yeah, guys, that's all the Dima stuff. That's all our impressions. That's literally everything that we know up to right now. Again, make sure you're checking out Geekdom stuff because he does he's been doing a lot of great work for the Dragon Ball community for years and years and years. Yes. Um and it it goes without saying, at least right here, we are ready, excited, and just cannot wait for the first episode to drop. And I'm gonna make a whole big day out of it, dude. I'm telling you right now, I'm yeah. like, because of this, I am actually gonna make sure I have Sparking Zero, like when when that drops as well. Okay. Good. Like, not that I wasn't gonna, but like but I was yeah, like, yeah. eh, whatever. Like, if if I yeah. have to do other things, like, no, no, no. Like I was already on the phone with Crystal. I was letting her. I was preparing her, son. I was like, I was like, babe, they got the collector's edition. And she goes, mm. fuck. <laughs> like, oh boy. She's like, how much is it? I'm like, it's expensive. And she's like, yeah. She's like, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> That's a good woman That's right there. That's a good fucking woman right there. That's fine. So happy. Right? I'm so happy, right? Anyways, all this excitement because of Dragon Ball is yes. back. It is it is really back. And I hate we're saying so that back. for other things, but this, this is this is the best we're back you could ever have. So this is like a this is like a real we're back. Yeah, you know? exactly. Exactly. Like, like Marvel, it's always here, you know, but uh, Dragon Ball has not been here for some time. Yeah. But now it's back. I hit a, I hit a, it is time. It is time. Oh, I don't know if it came through, but dare wait, wait, wait. Now that we're on this nostalgia trip, ready? Dare I say, Joey, we are back again. <laughs> once again. That, that first that first back again once again for the Dragon Ball reaction is gonna hit like crack. Do you th- oh my god. <laughs> I, I, you know, okay, I, I have to keep this in this video, but like you ever watch a movie or anything and like a character like has like one of those like moments and they just see all these things just happen? Mm-hmm. I just had that. Yeah. I just had that. Yeah. Wow. Okay, we need to end this before I start crying. <laughs> oh, that's that good <laughs>